contend, O Lord, with my contenders, fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. On this pleasant spring morning, you're warmly welcome to the Church of the Immaculate Conception here in Curry for the celebration of the Eucharist via live streaming on YouTube. Firstly, I'd like to say a big thank you to the large number who joined our first transmission yesterday, not just to all from our parish, but also to the family members and friends across Ireland and the world, from England, Scotland, the Czech Republic, the United States of America, and Australia, you who joined with us in prayer. Our love and our prayers are with you all. The journey of Holy Week continues, and today, in our liturgy, we focus on the village of Bethany, Bethany, which is on the outskirts of Jerusalem. And in particular this morning, we focus on the home of Mary and Martha and Lazarus. We hear that six days before he died, Jesus went to visit their home. And so today, in our prayer, we ask God to visit all of our homes too. We ask him to bring us the calm, the balm, and the healing that we urgently seek. So, with this prayerful thought in mind, we begin our celebration, and once, once again we ask God for his mercy as we say the confitier together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to our everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our opening prayer. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And now we have the Word of God. In our first reading today, the prophet Isaiah speaks of God giving his total and loyal support to his servant, his chosen one. God also continues to bless him with his spirit so that he may bring true justice to the nations. And this, of course, is part of our prayer today, namely that Jesus, our Savior, may bring not just justice, but also healing and tranquility to our people. The reading is from the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom my soul delights. I have endowed him with my spirit that he may bring true justice to the nations. He does not cry out or shout aloud or make his voice heard in the streets. 
He does not break the crushed reed, nor quench the wavering flame. Faithfully, he brings true justice. He will neither waver nor be crushed until true justice is established on earth. For the islands are awaiting his law. Thus says God, the Lord, he who created the heavens and spread them out, who gave shape to the earth and what comes from it, who gave breath to its people and life to the creatures that move in it. I, the Lord, have called you to serve the cause of right. I have taken you by the hand and formed you. I have appointed you as covenant of the people and light of the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison, and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In our psalm today, we take comfort from the words of the psalmist when he says, Though an enemy encamp against me, my heart would not fear. The response to our psalm this morning is, The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my help. Though an an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. The Gospel Acclamation. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. Hail to you, our King. You alone have had compassion on our sin. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. In this morning's Gospel, we see a composed Mary. We see her anointing the feet of Jesus with expensive ointment. It was as if she were preparing Jesus for some great moment, some great moment of suffering in his life, the suffering Messiah, the Messiah who identifies with our present crisis and our need for healing. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. Martha waited on them, and Lazarus was among those at table. Mary brought in a pound of very costly ointment, pure nard, and with it anointed the feet of Jesus, wiping them, wiping them with her hair. The house was full of scent of the ointment. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the man who was to betray him, said, Why wasn't this ointment sold for 300 denarii? and the money given to the poor. He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He was in charge of the common fund and used to help himself to the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. She had to keep this scent 
for the, ta for the day of my burial. You have the poor with you always. You will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large number of Jews heard that he was there, and they came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priests decided to kill Lazarus as well, since it was on his account that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. And now we place our prayers, our needs, our cares, our concerns before God, who is our loving Father in heaven. Firstly, this morning, we pray for the church, for the Pope, bishops, priests, religious, and all who are engaged in the missionary work of the church. May the Lord bless them in their ministry and grant them his protection. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask God to visit all of our homes, to grant us the perseverance during the course of this week, to continue to cooperate with the HSC regulations. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember in prayer all who are in lockdown and who are finding life challenging we ask the Lord to grant them the graces that they need. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who are in need of God's healing hands. May he visit, bless, nourish, and strengthen them at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember in prayer all who are working at this time, especially those in the healthcare sector and all who are engaged in providing essential services for us. Lord, bless them with your protection and give to them the graces which they need to persevere and to keep safe. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And now for a moment we pause and in the silence of our own hearts we offer up our own private prayers. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And finally, we pray for our dear loved ones who have gone before us to the Lord, our deceased family members, our friends, our relatives, our neighbours. We pray for those who have died recently and all whose anniversaries occur at this time. We pray, Lord, that they are now enjoying eternal happiness in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to listen to these, our prayers, which we present to you this morning, and we pray that you will grant what we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we proceed to having the liturgy of the Eucharist.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. At the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of our human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share the of Christ whom we to share in our humanity. Lord, wash away our iniquities, cleanse us from our sins and all of our faith. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin, and do this in memory of me. We now proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, 
O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and cherishy your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, Bishop-elect Paul, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admissions to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now... We pray to God, our Heavenly Father, in the words our Saviour has taught us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
I invite you again to please join with me as we pray the acts of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask our spiritual mother in heaven now to intercede to God for us, for all of our needs. As we say, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the world incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency, graciously hear and answer us. Amen. The serenity prayer. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. Just before the final prayer and blessing, once again, I would like to thank you sincerely for joining with me in prayer on this Monday of Holy Week 2020 from the Church of the Immaculate Conception here in Curry in South Sligo. If you do have the time, I look forward to your company as we pray tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Our final prayer and blessing. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received. And we ask this final prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God now bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass, our celebration is now ended. We go in peace to continue to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.